Okay, in this video I will show you how to use machine translation in all three versions of WordFast, Anywhere, Professional and Classic. So let's start with WordFast Anywhere. I'll click on Setup and I'll tick Use empty when no match and on details. Here I can select from three different machine translation providers Wordlingo, Microsoft and Google. I can also select my preferred provider and I will select Google. OK and save. Now I'll start my translation and I get three proposals from Google, Wordlingo and Microsoft. The proposal from Google was copied to the target segment because it was my preferred provider but with Alt Write I can switch to the second source, Wordlingo, to the third one and with Alt Left back to the previous ones. I move to the next segment and here I only get two proposals from Google and Microsoft so probably there was a timeout for Wordlingo. I switch to the next one and here I get three suggestions from Google, Wordlingo and Microsoft Translator. So that's how I could use machine translation in WordFast Anywhere. Now let's switch to WordFast Pro. In WordFast Pro I'll select Edit, Preferences, Machine Translation, I'll select Always Perform MT and I'll tick Allow All Unedited Segments. Next I'll move to Google Translate, I'll enable it and I'll define it as primary. I'll select Microsoft Translator, I'll enable it and that's it. There are only two empty providers supported in WordFast Pro, Google and Microsoft. OK. Now if I want to get empty proposals from the first segment I either have to click on the machine translation icon of the toolbar or select translation memory and machine translation. By default there is no shortcut linked to this function so I'll enable it. Uh, edit preferences keys and I'll type machine and for machine translation I will use alt home. Okay. So now I can press Alt Home and I should get proposals from MT. The first one is from Google and it's uh, my primary provider so it was copied to the target segment. I can use Alt Write like this to copy the second proposal from Microsoft or Alt Left to go back to Google. I move to the next segment and once again I get two proposals from Google and Microsoft and once again for the third one. So that's how to use machine translation in WordFast Pro. Now let's switch to WordFast Classic. In WordFast Classic I'll select Setup, Translation Memory, MT and in empty I can select three different sources Google, Microsoft and Wordlingo like in WordFast Anywhere. I've enabled all three. And next I'll move to Setup and AC and here I'm using Machine Translation together with Autocomplete. So I can start translating the first segment I'm getting three proposals from MT1, MT2, MT3 
which are Google, Microsoft and Worldlingo and with the down arrow I can cycle through them and I can press enter to select the one I'm interested in. I can move to the next segment and once again I have three proposals and once again three proposals so it's very fast and that was how to use machine translation in WordFast Classic. Thank you for watching. Do hit the like button if you found this video useful. Subscribe to my channel for more similar content and see you in the next video.